I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. Hey everyone, it's the Vigilant Christian Mario, and you're here for another edition of Illuminati Media Expose. In today's video, I'm going to be exposing Family Guy. Now, this is one of the most satanic, blasphemous, God-hating things that I've ever exposed on this channel. And if you're familiar with my series, you do know that I've exposed a lot of satanic things um, that are found in the modern-day media. Now, this one tops it all. So to my brothers and sisters in the faith, I do need to warn you, this one will probably make your stomach turn. It is so God-hating and blasphemous against Christ and God. Um, it's actually mind-blowing. But the reason that I, I feel called to expose this is for the loss. They need to recognize and uh, understand that there is a huge system of conditioning that is set up against them to in impose within them at a very subconscious level a hate for God. Okay, it is no surprise when we look at the statistics um, of God believers in my generation, Generation X and under, that the charts have completely plummeted. That belief in God is pretty much non-existent in my generation. And I'm going to suggest to you that it is largely in part due to the satanic influence of this type of media. Okay, uh, so in today's video, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about just how God-hating this is, and I'm going to just show you and... Uh, Let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to point out here is the fact that it's a cartoon. Now this is a very effective way to lure children in especially. Um, you know you have uh, Family Guy, Simpsons, Ren and Stimpy, um, you know shows like that that are cartoons and as a child you think well cartoons are created for me but they're not. Okay so what happens is kids actually get lured in more easily to watching shows like this. Okay because you know most of the, the shows kids watch are cartoons. So these are cartoons too. Um, so it lures your kids in. But brothers and sisters and everyone out there, this is not um, for children, period. Okay? Um, and if you're allowing your children to watch this stuff, shame on you. This is pure satanic garbage that is going to manipulate their minds and their ideologies about uh, God and, and the truth. Um, and you shouldn't do that to them. So the first thing I want to pull up here is just the resemblance of Family Guy to um, The Simpsons. So what it is is the illuminated ones, the power that be, the desire to corrupt society, they utilize um, you know, shock. Okay, so that's why Madonna back in the 70s, you know, it was outrageous what she's doing, and nowadays it wouldn't be even close to being outrageous. So now we have Lady Gaga who's pushing that envelope. Okay, just like we had The Simpsons, who back in the day, that was a crazy cartoon. People and Christians were like, that's satanic, we shouldn't be listening to that, it shouldn't even be allowed on television. Now it's completely socially acceptable. It's been one of the most popular shows on television. So now they need to come and push the envelope even further because it's never going to stop. This is only going to stop when we have the complete immoral or the complete moral collapse of society and everyone is now just conditioned to be completely immoral hateful and evil okay that's what they're trying to do and that's what they're doing very successfully in our societies okay you can just look at the fact that 50 years ago Elvis Presley was shaking his hips on television and that was an outrage and now nowadays you got Lady Gaga parading on MTV and dressed in nothing more than police uh, tape and that's nothing no big deal okay so how far does this go at what point do we stand up and say enough is enough okay um, because it, they're not going to stop pushing the envelope. Uh, so that's why I'm here to wake people up and uh, hopefully you can recognize and uh, protect your families from this evil influence uh, that the powers that be, the media, is perpetuating on your kids and yourself as well. So let's get right into it even more here. The, what I want to point out here is just the fact that this show revolves around coarse jokes. And in Ephesians 5, chapter 4, it says, Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talks, or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. So us Christians have nothing, we should have nothing to do with coarse jokes, okay, and foolishness, and that's all the show is about. It's just pure foolishness. It's about farts and uh, just stupidity. It's the lowest level of humanity expressed in comedy, 
Okay, that's exactly what it is. We're living at the most low standards until society is nothing more than just a bunch of Homer Simpsons and Peters running around. Okay, that's what they want. They want a bunch of beer drinking, brain dead men who can't think for themselves, who all they do is watch television and are a drone. That's exact, and they're being very successful. Just look at the men around you, and you're going to see that eighty percent of them are now conditioned to become that fool. Okay, who sits there and, and has no, in my opinion, has nothing inside, nothing to live for, and is nothing but a shallow, empty shell. Um, so, brothers and sisters, just separate yourself from this type of joking and this type of uh, mindset. It's just low-level stuff. Um, so what I want to pull up here is an article that actually shows that Family Guy was named the worst show for young audiences. So I'm not the only one saying this. There's a lot of other uh, parental groups out there who recognize this, but obviously no one cares. Everyone looks at us, oh, you're just a bunch of crazy people taking things too seriously. No, we're the ones who are standing up because we recognize that if this continues, we will see the complete moral collapse of society and people will be stealing and killing and uh, there will be no structure or order left in society. It's going to be pure anarchy. So we recognize that that's not a good thing and that we should stand up for what is right so that we can maintain the structures um, that are in place as of right now okay um, so there you go no surprise it's named one of the worst shows for kids and if you're letting your children watch this shame on you stop that okay you should have more discernment to know that this stuff is not right this type of comedy is evil and satanic now I'm gonna focus in to show you just how much they blaspheme God so here you have on your screen an image of God sitting on his cloud so they use the stereotypical satanic Hollywood image of God, which is the man in the beard with the uh, sitting on the clouds, you know, it's, they try, what they do is because they're so satanic and they're after your belief system and the conditioning of it, especially in regards to God, since they're God haters, they make him look as much as a fairy tale as they possibly can. Oh, he's just some old man sitting in the cloud. Okay. And you constantly see this, the Simpsons do it, um, you know, all bunch of shows do it. And this is again, to just manipulate and brainwash you so that you don't believe in God. Now I'm just going to run some things uh, through some things that the character does in the show and like I said brothers and sisters I do apologize but I just want to show you the level of blasphemy of what we're seeing here in the media today. So in the Bible God created the universe with his breath okay now um, in this episode, he actually created the universe by his bodily gases. Okay, this is disgusting. It's disrespectful. All right, it's uh, completely backwards and evil and satanic. And it does not surprise me because it comes from satanic evil people. Okay, uh, he even goes on in, in an episode, that same episode, to arm wrestle the guy. You know, showing that God isn't some supreme Lord God, pure light. He's just another guy with a beard, an old man who wants to arm wrestle. You know, he's got a sniper rifle and he shoots people. Uh, you know, he even has a job as a receptionist in one episode. Um, and even more blasphemy is he uses his powers in some episodes to pick up young women. Okay, so this is disgusting. Um, I can't believe that they would even show this. Uh, our God is nothing like this. They even show him in a hovercraft spaceship flying around looking all cool, you know, uh, sitting there with, on a the phone with his girlfriend in bed, you know, insinuating that, you know, he's had sexual relationships with her um, and just disgusting, sick things. One of the most disgusting things that I discovered was an episode where uh, he shows Adam and Eve and God behind the tree has pornography. Okay, now because the main audience of Family Guy are immoral people, immoral people don't have a problem with pornography. In fact, they enjoy it. It's one of their pleasures in life. Um, so what they're trying to subconsciously program you in this image is that the knowledge of good and evil is something pleasurable that God has hidden from us. Okay, why would they do that? Because they're satanic and because they want to influence you to be a God hater at the very subconscious levels. They even go and commercialize them and you can actually buy dolls uh, of God and there's even one where he's drinking a beer. Uh, so it's just pure blasphemy. Now, again, going even more. So I want you to pay attention here. The picture I brought up on the left of Brian's head, you see the Illuminati eye in the pyramid. And right to the, the other side of his head is the God delusion. Okay, now why is that? Because the illuminated ones, the symbol that that represents, the Illuminati are satanic. They go to Bohemian Grove to practice Babylonian satanic blood sacrifice and rituals. All right. So of course their intent and their goal is to manipulate you so that you do not believe in God. 
Okay, and that's why it's there. Just put two and two together. They even push it further in other episodes. She says, we have to destroy everything that's harmful to God. And the first book that they throw in is Logic for First Graders. Ha ha ha, stupid Christians can't even think. Oh, a first grader can think more than them. This is an attack against the intelligence behind the gospel. And let me tell you, there is more intelligence behind the gospel than there is anything else. Everything else is foolishness. Okay, you think you come from monkeys and all this stuff? This is because the systems that be are manipulating your mind and shows like this even further ingrain that in you okay so come on people now they move on to attack our our savior okay the one who came and gave himself on the cross of course he's not indwelled by the holy spirit of god and, and able to do miracles and and wonders because of that he's just nothing more than a magician Okay, and you see that in the episode. He's just uh, doing some magic tricks. And if you're familiar with Illuminati symbolism, you're going to recognize here that he, in this, that scene, he was shown flashing the 666 symbol. Okay, um, so just blaspheming God. And again, here's another picture of him in the in, in um, the clouds, quote unquote, heaven. Again, making heaven like some fairy tale out there, not a, an actual real place, just some fantasy, so that you know you don't really want, you can't really believe in it. Um, they show you this image. He's not the only God in heaven. Do you see how satanic this is? Because the gospel says that Jesus Christ is the one and only true God. Okay, him and the Father and the Holy Spirit. Now, what they're trying to impose in this picture is to show you, oh no, you know, Krishna's there and all other gods are up in heaven. Well, this isn't true, brothers and sisters and everyone else listening. Okay, uh, this is just an absolute satanic lie. Um, and it has nothing to do with the truth. Uh, then, you know, they have episodes of him where he's behind uh, the desk over here. He's um, working at a, a rock, store, a rock star company. And if you notice, all the satanic symbolism that's found, rock and roll is the, the devil's music, okay? So, obviously, he's, you know, being blasphemed in this way. He ends up in jail in another episode, um, shooting guns and ending up on some big adventure and action story and oh just just blasphemy to, to no avail um, now here's another point that I made you know they show you heaven it's in the clouds so of course they got to show you uh, the lake of fire and the concept of judgment um, in a way that again is just a fairy tale oh look at the devil he's sitting there with his two little horns and his little cape and the fiery dungeon of hell so this again is mind manipulation brothers and sisters Okay, and of course, the Christian character in the Bible is Peter's father, who's stubborn, closed-minded, just smacks people over the head with their Bible. So again, another attack against the body of Christ and what we stand for. So everyone, just to recap, this stuff is satanic, evil, and it's just designed to manipulate your minds. The powers that be are illuminated, dark men who are at at all costs trying to manipulate and condition you so that you hate God don't let it happen don't be that foolish okay it's an obvious system go back and check out my entire Illuminati media series you're gonna see this isn't just Family Guy this is everywhere this is in all the movies okay even a movie go watch my Jim Carrey uh, thing has sub subconscious uh, Gnostic theology ingrained into it Okay, so this is a deep system of propaganda set up against you. So if you're going to come here and just watch this one video and go, oh, this is just nonsense, it's nonsense to do that. You need to go back and watch all eight other hours of my material and wait for me to finish producing the other 150 hours that I could produce simply on this satanic media that is conditioning you. So this is the Vigilant Christian saying, God bless each and every one of you. Stay vigilant and do not let this satanic garbage influence you or your children. God bless.